Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email uh, the other day um, from this lady and she, you know, she uh, watches my videos and stuff. And, you know, I was like, man, I got to I got to share this email with you guys. So she sent me this email and I hit her up and I was like, yo, you know, uh, would it be OK if I did a video about this to show, you know, the guys that I coach and to put it on my channel. She was like, yeah, you know, let's make it happen. So, um, you know, this girl, she's from the UK and she sent me this, uh, this email and I want to read it to you guys. And she also sent a picture to, I'll probably show you the picture and just, you know, I told her I'll, I'll, um, you know, block out her face or whatever and everything. And I'll keep her anonymous. But this one says, Hey, Mr. Locario, uh, this is not a question, but a message from a girl in London letting you know that I love your work. I sent you a small donation yesterday. I hope you received it. Uh, the confirmation number is, um, I got that blocked out. I just wanted to show some support for what you do. I've recently discovered, um, you in a quest of trying to find people, uh, talking about monogamy and open relationships. Uh, the latter being something I'm considering a, as a lifestyle choice. On the surface, I think that people may perceive your work as crude and superficial, but I often hear the depth of your mind and spirit, both of which I think are very sexy. Um, in your video on the dangers of seeking approval from women, which I believe is applicable to both sexes, you spoke about the aloneness before, during and after relationship. I found the way it was articulated true and profound. I've learned a lot about men and human nature through your work, although I caveat my love for what you do by disagreeing that women should be treated like children, LOL. Um, anyway, I've attached a photo of myself because uh, my ego often spoke about in your videos too, would be totally flattered if you wanted to get shit popping with me, LOL. I would love to be your UK wifey, LOL. I have plans to visit the U.S. sometime in the future. Would it be totally cool to find out where you're based and meet you and your beautiful wife and girlfriend, both of which seemed very lucky to have you, LOL. Uh, would it be nice if you hit me back, but if you don't get a chance, I will continue sending you love from London and binge watching your videos whenever I get uh, to take a break from pursuing my dreams. Stay blessed. And then she says, P.S. You're right. The good girl and the bad girl is the same girl. And then she sent a picture here. I have it, you know, this little uh, screenshot. I mean, little uh, picture down here. Let me see if I can blow it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just block out the face. But anyway, so the thing is this. I, you know, the reason why I wanted to read this, well, first of all, remember I was telling you guys that, you know, when you see stuff on the internet, you know, you can't, you, you, you got to take it with a grain of salt. You understand? Cause you, you know, there's no, there's no proof you can show on the internet. Cause some people might, they, they're, they're going to see this and they're going to say, oh, uh, you know, Mrs. Locario, you made this, 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 uh, email up, <laughs> you understand? And you found that picture on Google somewhere, you know? Or what I could be saying is, is the truth, right? So I, I want you guys to always think critically just because I'm showing you this. Don't think that, you know, I don't want you to just take everything I say for face value, right? I don't want you to always think critically. You understand? Because if, if I, if I don't teach you that, then I'm not being a, a, a great teacher, um, you know, of life in just this game. So always think critically, but I'm just letting you know that this is the email I got. And, I, and the reason why I wanted to show you guys this was, you know, a few things, right? Is that one, I, I, I like the fact that she said, um, I often hear the depth of your mind and spirit, both of which I, I think are very sexy, right? And now this is the type of stuff, notice she didn't say anything about how sexy I look. She said, your mind and spirit is sexy, Right? And she's been checking out the video, so she's feeling like the vibe of what, I, what I'm about. So this is what I want you guys to understand, that it's not just always about how you look. I'm sure she probably, you know, she might, might think I'm good looking or whatever. She might think I'm physically attractive. But what I'm saying is, is that, I, you know, that stuck out to me and I wanted to show you guys that too. But also, you know, what I really wanted to talk about too, mainly, 
is the fact that she knows that I have a wife and a girlfriend and she still is cool with, you know, trying to get down. (laughs) You understand what I'm saying? So shout out to her. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because a lot of dudes, they think that they need to lie and they need to say a whole bunch of, you know, nonsense to women in order for the woman to want to like deal with them. Right. And now, you know, I've publicly, you know, said on many videos like, yo, this is this is what it is. Like, I got a wife. I got a girlfriend. This is what I do. And most guys think that, oh, women are never going to go for that. You have to lie to them to to tell them that you're not seeing anybody. You got to pretend you're only with them and you got to no. this is what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Like women, you understand what I'm saying? If as long as you're doing your thing, you're being authentic and you're comfortable with who you are, you're going to get chicks who are going to want to deal with you because of that. You understand what I'm saying? And, uh, and, and shout out to this, this young lady that sent this, you know, she's a cute chick, you know, and, and I appreciate the email and I just wanted to, you know, share this with you guys real quick, just to, just to show you like, look, don't be afraid to do your thing, whatever that thing is that you do, because you're going to have women who are going to gravitate to you based off of who you are and what you're about. You feel what I'm saying? You don't got to lie. You don't got to pretend. You don't got to fake. You got to, you don't got to, you don't have to play these bullshit ass games. You ain't got to do none of that shit. You understand? Do you stay on your purpose? Do the shit that you do. And you're going to get chicks that are going to want to deal with you. So shout out, shout out to this uh, young lady right here. And I will holler at you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership dot com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com